They call me Squirrel. What's up, everybody? It's a squirrel, and I'm back. Well, obviously, I'm back, because it wouldn't be here. If it... Anyways, I'm here with uh, Bill Bailey's Funny Goose Story. I've tried some Bill Bailey before. Uh, they usually get blocked pretty fast. Uh, I can't find any Bill Bailey reactions, which makes me think that this guy is sewed up like a tight drum. You can't get to him. I'm going to try this one. It's from the Graham Norton Show back in 2015. Bill Bailey and Graham Norton together. This thing's got to be blocked, but I'm going to give it a whirl anyway. This is called Bill Bailey's Funny Goose Story. Welcome back, Squirrel Squad. Let's check it out together. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Notification bell so you know when I come out with a new reaction. Enjoy yourself. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment. Welcome aboard. Here we go. In the show, or is the story happening in life? The story involving the goose. Yes. No, that's true. That's what happened. That's a, that's a real story. I mean, that was, again, that was like, you know, and again, it's a... Everyone tells me, you look like Bill Bailey, you gotta react to Bill Bailey. Obviously we have different we have different hair, but uh the eyes especially I can I, I can kinda see it. I do. I, I may mean, talk about I mean I do a lot of work with conservation and animals and wildlife conservation. And sometimes, you know, you, you, you try to do a good thing and and it backfires, you know. It's like a, it was like a you know, a, the best intentions and they backfire on your eyes. We were coming back from a dinner, my wife and I, in, in London, and it was very late at night, like two, three o'clock in the morning. We were driving down the Mall in front of Buckingham Palace, and we saw an animal in distress, clearly in distress, at the side of the road. And it was a, a goose. And there's quite a lot of animals around, a lot of geese around there, and it was sort of flapping on the, on the road, like clearly a bit in, in distress. So we stopped um, and got out of the car, and and, and so and then my wife was saying, "Let's, we must save it. You know, we've got to try and save it." And I was little bit, I was like, you know, half two, come on. I mean, there's no one around. You know, maybe just... You know, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, like, really, I'm not in danger. I can't do that. Because it was Valentine's Night. And I'm thinking, you know, what did you do Valentine's Night? Oh, I reversed over a goose. Yeah. <laughs> it was a magical night. Is that a young Matt Damon over there? I think it is. <laughs> Thanks. So, yeah. We had a blanket in the back of the car, and I wrapped the goose in the blanket, and we put the goose up and put it in the back of the car, and I was just about to close the, the boot, and a gun was held to my head, a cocked pistol was held to my head. Uh, Stop, what are you doing? And it was a, a bunch of plain clothes, like the Royal Protection Officers, and they're all kind of skulking around in the bushes, I guess, you know, <laughs> waiting for some goose-based nonsense, you know, goose malfeasance. And uh, he said, what are you doing? And, uh, and I went, oh, uh, a, go a goose. And, <laughs> and I suffered a bit of asthma, and I had an asthma attack, and I started wheezing. I'm going, a goose, a goose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die. Gonna die. That's my last word. <laughs> <laughs> what? And then he went, he goes, all right. And the other fellow, there was two of them, and the guy had a, had a pistol, and the goose was under the blanket, so he couldn't see what it was. So then the goose's head appeared. <laughs> the other guy pointed a gun at it. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> Some weird terrorist goose. <laughs> And the guy goes, all right, you can show me, show me. Easy, easy. <laughs> so I revealed the goose, and clearly it was a goose. The goose came up like this to face the gun. And it was a sort of standoff. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then we just sort of stood there, like, really, like... How did this happen? You know, that was amazing. And eventually the first guy did that thing with the, the, you know, the radio. He went, stand down, just a goose. <laughs> Was, you know what I mean? <laughs> Snipers tree, like a red dot on it. No, it's a goose, it's a goose, stand down, stand down. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was out at uh, music, there's music. Wow. <laughs> That's great. That was a great story. Oh, man, I wish I could unlock more Bill Bailey to play around with. Hopefully this works out. If it doesn't, um, maybe I'll go to somewhere else. Maybe you've seen this anyways. I don't know. But uh, Bill Bailey, my uh, I'm the American doppelganger, I've been told. So uh, I guess so. I don't know. But uh, Bill Bailey, God bless you, buddy. Great story. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this one. <laughs> I'm the Squirrel, and you're the Squirrel Squad, and I appreciate you hanging out with me, and I appreciate all the interaction with you folks. Make sure you share this out for me if you want. I'd appreciate that, too. Follow me over on Twitter if you want. The Twitter handle is up in the card. Until next time, Squirrel out.